Hey! Four minutes to do this for us. You are the first one. Three, two, one. Are you one. Action. What Action, say? Jackson. Hello! I'm Hannah. I'm Seb. I'm Tate. I'm Dylan. I'm Grayson. No way. And this is collateral damage. Yeah. We're at the Guinea Bar. Apparently. So congrats on the release of the Douchebag. Fucking sick song. Okay. Um, just like fresh off of the single launch. We're all hype as. Um, how was it up there? Fucking sick. It's so good. I, I fucking love playing the Guinea Bar. One of my, probably is my favourite venue to play. You know, but, uh, uh, you know I have to say that. It's not sponsored. <laughs> this this isn't sponsored. <laughs> What well, the fuck? Well, what were you expecting from tonight, and how did it feel when you were up there? Um, well, we were very energetic. I don't know. Uh, we're expecting no one to come and everyone to hate us. <laughs> Grab is Keep your expectations low exactly. and don't be disappointed. Exactly. But now we've seen the video clip. What, what was it like shooting the shooting the video? What was the process like? No. How, I don't know. How did you know? I don't know. Do? If you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> you think it's about the best word. Um, I, I do want to know though. Oh. Well. <laughs> Billy was a fucking was so legend good. on set. He fucking nailed the nailed the role of the douchebag. He did very well. And it what was made, just a, Sorry, you're not. No, go on, go on. I was gonna say, what made you choose Billy to play that role? It was originally gonna be Jaya from Cove Street <laughs> and and Stormy Lou, but then um, too nice. he is too nice. <laughs> we thought Billy Bird. Not that Billy's not <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. Billy, you're very nice. Who wrote Douchebag? Me and him just. No yeah. shit, no. As a laugh, like we were drunk as well. Just yeah. funny. What was the inspiration? Yeah, what, what happened to make you think yeah, we need to write a song about a douchebag? I don't know, we just. It's, it's based on several people, if you will. Yeah. So, like, we had like a stack of verses that we didn't use, we just kind of picked the best one, and each one was like a different person. Yeah. Roughly, but it, 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 So you compiled them together? Yeah, and, uh, kind of, and I think. It's about yeah. everyone. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a diss track. Do, you, do you remember the I'm first sick. time that those two boys showed it to you? Was it Imperial? Cool. I think I was fucking inebriated camping out near Melrose, <laughs> and I just got a message from Tate saying, "Listen to this." All right. Um, and it's just a, it's a pretty average demo. I thought it has potential, <laughs> needs some work, but fuck yeah, let's go with this. Yeah. And now it is what it is, and it's fucking Very really nice. Yes. Thanks to. Ben Walther as well. Thanks to Ben Walther, yeah. Coach. JT, Street, right? he recorded and it as well. Yeah, yeah he did. Was there much, uh, much uh, workshopping going on in the recording space? Or? A little bit, because the demo was quite long. You know, we all decided it needed to come down a bit. Yeah. So yeah, we just spent a couple of days in the studio chopping the changes. Funnily nice. enough, for the studio not far from here, we did it all at the beginning. Yeah. First time yeah. in the studio as well. Nice. Yeah, recorded in a bedroom. Bedroom, bedroom. Yeah, tell. Tell. Yeah, so you're going to be going back to a studio or back to the bedroom? Back to a studio. Studio, yeah. A bedroom demo, <laughs> not flash. <laughs> Amazing. So you single launch, you had Stormy Lou, you had Lola, and you had Lily Rose. What made you choose those three bands? Or did everybody else in Adelaide just say no and you were left by default? Well, I think, um, I think Lola was a no brand. We did the Iron Triangle together. Yes, we did. <laughs> we do. We, we do go way back. Everyone. I think our energy kind of matches. Like, like everyone did say no. We had to get the drinks. How many of you are from Port Perry? Yeah. Everyone. But how Cal many of you are sick of hearing the word Port Perry? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I'm sick of hearing. Yeah. How, yeah. how did you all meet? The three of you from Port Perry. But Tate and I, we've been friends for fucking. We met each other in primary school. Uh, I, I wouldn't say friends. So what was Tate <laughs> like in primary school? School the beans. Um, oh, here we go. Yeah. Um, I, I reckon first time we met him, I would have been in fucking year one in school. We've been like seven. I called him fucking. His last name's Bolton. I think I called him Bolt Ed. <laughs> it's not even a fucking real insult. That's how we met. Um, and Grayson came in. They were, they were oh. in a lot later. Oh, we needed like a. Year in high school, something. we decided to start a band because we got offered a gig without a band. So we thought, fuck yeah. Let's start a band. So we looked to everyone in our shitty little fucking country town school that could play drums. Really and this play. one person that couldn't play drums said, yeah. <laughs> so he, he, he joined to become a fucking close friend. And he fucking, over time, got good. Yeah, <laughs> surprisingly. Yeah, who, who well, would fucking it. think? And then, at one of the worst gigs we ever played, we met Caleb playing with Modern Day Riot. Um, before that. 
you guys inboxed like me asking for a show like an Adelaide. I didn't go, inbox shit. Did. I did. We all oh. started out and we, we kind of became like pen pals. Oh hey. We've got a guest Good appearance. Evening. What's yeah. your name, sir? Edward. Swindle. Well, that's the thing is, we did consider becoming a ska band. We <laughs> everyone for brass instruments, and then we thought being a ska band is a fucking terrible idea. So we decided not to not to roll with it. Just condition it about thirty times as bad. Thank you so much for coming on Collateral Damage. Use conditioner. Come out and Thank see them whenever you can. Go to fucking Perry to see them. Stream the heck out of douchebag. Sebastian, any last words? Uh, it's been great chatting with you, and your, your set was <gasps> fucking sick. How does his hair smell? Like strawberries, Almost rosemary, like on a summer's day. Almost like cocaine, collateral damage. I'm Hannah, this is Seb, thanks for listening. Almost, Almost like cocaine, yeah, we, could yeah, that, this, we could just... We could use that as a tagline, collateral damage. Almost like cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to film inside of my shoe? <laughs> Yeah, I'll show you come off. It's got Batman on it. My mum got it for me for Christmas. Oh, okay. My mum said that I look I look very handsome in it, so she got them for me. No! Hey, I, I still got one on. Do I look handsome in it? You do. Oh, come here. Oh. Come here. Oh, do I look so handsome? You do, bro. You look handsome.